Uh, mailbag starts now, so uh, give me one second. Literally, one second. There you go. Did you all count to one? I hope you all made it to one. Uh, all right, let's grab a pillow, have a seat, and let's see how we look here. Oh, hi, buddy. Were you going to sit on my chair? Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Oh, hey, my collar's up. Look at me looking all cool. Like Billy Idol or something. I don't know why Billy Idol's the example of a pop collar that comes to mind. Uh, that doesn't even make sense. Okay. <laughs> um, so, uh, that looks good. And let's check the chat and see if anybody's talking at me. Looks good here, too, I guess. So we'll uh, jump right in. As far as news this week goes, um, let's see. These kittens went for their second vaccine. They had an excellent health check up there and great health. In fact, this is one of the healthiest classes we've had in a while. And uh, Little Thimble just does such a great job with her kittens. Uh, when I say healthiest we've had in a while, I mean, um, I, I can't think of a time when these kids have had bad poops that wasn't, you know, directly the end result of like an over-treating incident or something where we gave them too many treats. But... They've had just great poops and uh, uh, you know lots of running around and uh, not too much vomiting. There was one time when uh, I think Cistern ate a little piece of plastic and vomited that up, but otherwise nothing. So uh, just real uh, solid little kittens. The vet says so too. So uh, everybody's in good health. And then upstairs, uh, you saw we've got the, the young kittens that were just born uh, they're a week old now. Is that right? I think that's right. A week old today, probably. And they are also pretty healthy. Uh, our little orange boy was giving us some concern this week. And so we started tube feeding him to supplement what his mom was feeding him because he wasn't making the gains that he should be making. Uh, now he is making the gains he should be making. If anything, uh, my concern now is the other end. Uh, I want to make sure he's pooping enough now. He did, he pooped yesterday for sure. And DJ was so excited. She brought him all the way downstairs to show me him and his poop. Uh, so that's how excited we get when kittens are healthy. Um, but, uh, I have every reason to believe that he is now keeping up with that end of his duties. Oh, wow. That's a, like a double pun. Um, so, uh, so I think he's, he's in good shape, actually. He's so hard to, to tube feed and, uh, has this, I think in common with some other kittens that we've had to tube feed where, um, he no longer responds at all to being scruffed and, uh. Uh, he just, he struggles so much when it's time for the tube feeding, but uh, eventually, once you kind of get it started, he usually calms right down, like, oh, my belly's full now, this is good. Um, now, this morning was a little bit of a different story <laughs> where we had some trouble getting the, the food in him, but that's okay, because I also think, based on this weight, that he, he ate a fair amount from his mom this morning. So, again, uh, he's in good shape. We're keeping a real close eye on him, and uh, I think um, uh, I think he's doing well. Uh, the other ones, of course, are just crazy uh, healthy, gaining properly and uh, active and all that kind of stuff. So uh, real happy about the progress up there today. Uh, I know some of this week was a little bit hard on me. I don't mind saying, um, you know, I'm not uh, Alfred E. Newman here. I do worry quite a bit uh, when, you know, when there's kittens. I, I worry, you know, I worry even when, they, even when they don't need it. I think I do quite a bit of that. So just... Just to let you know, I got the worrying covered. None of you have to have to do that. I'll take care of all of that. Um, okay. Anyway, it's nothing to worry about today, though. I think they're all in good shape. It's good news. So uh, we've got basically one letter today, and then we have three letters that came for the professors. Uh, Professor Eddie, Professor Ari, and Professor Custard, uh, which is really sweet. And I think we know what this is all about. This is uh, Ubanam Rosarium sent in donations to, uh, let's see, where was it? It was the uh, Southern Methodist University Feral Cat Program in honor of Professor Eddie Jansen. How sweet is that? I think that is just wonderful for you to do. They have a feral cat program there. And uh, goodness knows that there, there needs to be uh, a lot more done for and about feral cats. Uh, so I think it's great someone's doing that. And I think it's even better that uh, you donated to help that happen. I think that, that's, that's wonderful. Um, and I think like I mentioned last week when the first couple of these came in, how sweet it is for you to do it in the name of the professors of the Kitten Academy. So we get to kind of share in that 
glory, even though we didn't do a thing for it. That's very, it's, it's doubly generous of you to, uh, to include us that way. So thank you so much for that. Uh, okay, then we have sealed with a loving paw print. Um, I didn't get out my letter opener. I opened that with my finger for some reason, but this one, I don't think my finger is gonna, gonna work for this one. I need, I'm gonna need a little bit of extra help here. There we go. This week went by so fast for me. I don't even know what happened. Maybe because I was worrying and feeding the kids so much. Uh, that, that can contribute to it. But. Okay, uh, contents are okay to read on stream, and now I definitely recognize what's going on here. We have our poetry, um, and this is a, a great big address right at the top of your letterhead that I don't want to read to everybody, even though you say contents are okay to read on stream. I don't think you mean your name and address, probably. Maybe you do. I don't know. So we'll just cover that up with your note that says contents are okay to read on stream. How convenient. It says, hello, Mr. A, Do uh, sorry, Mr. A, DJ, and all the furries. I was going to say Dr. DJ, you don't, and that's okay, too. Uh, she's not big on titles. Um, just a wee note to say a big hello and to enclose two copies of a poem I've written for Thimble. One copy is, of course, for Thimble and her adutive family, and the other is for the Academy. When composing Thimble's poem, I tried to think of the qualities she has that make her unique. She's certainly an interesting and lovable mix of sweet and spicy, and she has her beautiful kittens. Um, she and her beautiful kittens have really endeared themselves to me. They'll bring such joy to their adutive families. Thank you for all you continue to do for cats and kittens and for the wider KA community. Little did you know, in those earliest of days, the far-reaching and overwhelmingly positive impact that KA would have not only on kitties, kitties, but on we humans too. That's we humans as in all of us, not we as in little uh, people. Although, um, you know, maybe that. Uh, with lots of love and very best wishes from Joanne, your greatest Scottish fan. So thank you so much for that. And I got to say about Little Thimble, I know I said this probably just in last week's mailbag, and uh, I, I want to... Um, I want to help you guys experience it by maybe getting some video of it. Although it's hard to video a cat not doing something. You know what I mean? Uh, but um, Thimble, I've been taking her up to my office for long periods of the day when I'm up there working on stuff. And she is the sweetest thing when she just gets to have her person around and I'm not like running in and out of the door and constantly sort of leaving her in a room by herself. Uh, she's a total sweetheart. She doesn't fuss at all. She, um, she likes to sit in, uh, you know, that the cardboard bed that Custard likes, there's another one that's gone up to my office and she likes to just lay in it all day. And every now and then she'll make little noises at me. Like I'm one of her kittens, like a little, you know, little come here kitten play uh, noise, like the purr, purr, purr kind of noise. And she'll kind of do that to me. She doesn't really look or get up. And then if I respond to her, if I'm like, oh, you're talking to me, then she'll, oh, she gets all perky and happy about it. She kind of looks at me, but she still doesn't get up because she's a, she's a big old lazy cat. So I was just talking to DJ about what a great, uh, I think, cat she could be for someone who um, is a little more maybe at home sedentary, you know? I think I think she could do a really good, um, she could make a really good match for someone like that. Uh, she's kind of like that herself and uh, definitely does not approve of anybody uh, running around or especially leaving her, I think, uh, is, is really the, the root of most of her issue. But... Uh, again, on the same note, um, yesterday after I spent most of the day in my office with her and have done this now a few times, she she minds me leaving a lot less as well. I think, you know, she kind of fills up her, uh, you know, social meter, uh, you know, Sims wise, and uh, then she's okay for a bit and she doesn't mind me running in and out of the room. Um, and also I think she kind of feels like, okay, this is, this is his place. This is where he lives. So I know he'll be coming back and, as opposed to someone like her room where she knows I just visit. So that, that's another reason to believe that she would do really well with an adopter that she kind of got to live in her house and, uh, you know, recognize that it's, 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 she's playing with her kittens right now. It's too cute. Okay, let's read your, uh, your poem, though, uh, Joanne. It says, a poem for Thimble, precious Thimble. Precious Thimble, you're a girl and a half. You're spirited, spicy, and sweet. With babies on board, you arrive at K.A., a free vision in perfection replete. Precious Thimble, you're a talented girl, and you've passed all your exams at K.A. You've mastered all your classes with ease and made the very most of your stay. Precious Thimble, you're an interesting girl with the brightest of futures ahead. 
You'll charm your no new humans of that, there's no doubt, and your kittens will do the same thing with theirs. Precious Thimble, you're a special girl, a girl who, um, a, a girl with a distinct and lovable personality. I'm sorry, I left out a word. A girl who with a distinct and lovable personality has been blessed. You're one of a kind, my precious Thimble, and for you, I wish only the best. That was a sweet sentiment, and that's some sweet poetry for, uh, Thimble is a very special and wonderful kitty. Um, and I do, I love her. She's just so uh, round and squeezable. She's, she's great to snuggle. She's a, she's a fantastic snuggler, it's true. Uh, she'll just let you squeeze on her and pat her, and she never, never, ever gets enough of it. Uh, and uh, all that, that padding makes it a very pleasant uh, experience, in my opinion. So, uh, great little kitty, and I do hope she finds the right person for her. All right, let's dig into these boxes. Let's see, this, uh, this one says, for, from Merlin to you for deployment. So, Merlin to you. All right, let's see, I need to get out the other knife here somewhere, maybe. Here we go. Dig in the box. I need to clean out this box. It's got everybody's uh, checks and donations in it still. I haven't cleared any of that out. I need to do that. Oh, for deployment. What is it? It looks like maybe some kind of a bed with a rubber bottom so it doesn't move around too much. A marsh. No, not a marshmallow bed. Oh, but it's compressed like one. It looks soft, large. Uh, let's see. Hello, Mr. Ian. Dr. DJ, question for you. Does a bear sit in the woods? Why, well, yes, he does, as long as those woods are part of K.A.'s enchanted forest. Or, for that matter, K.A.'s actual woods. Aw, oh, that's so sweet. Thank you so much. Merlin, to you, I'll use your name on the outside of the box and put, I think, your real name on that. Uh, let's see, is this forest themed then? Uh, maybe it is a bear bed based on the color. I, it really has no shape at this point, so I couldn't tell you if it was anything at all. Or maybe you just had a clever riddle to go with your perfectly ordinary bed. I can hear the air being sucked into this vacuum bag now. I'm going to cut it slightly. Oh, now it's pooping up. Oh, there is something. Okay, maybe it is a bear. Let's find out. I love the idea of having a bear for their enchanted forest, although they're almost through the enchanted forest. Of course, as with any of our themes, uh, it will, this is so cute, it's got, it's a, it's like a bear, it's got its little head and its arms, and then its body is the bed, and it can hug kittens. Oh, now that's the sweetest thing. Uh, these kids don't seem like they're much for the bed, in there, but like I was about to say, and interrupted myself, uh, even if they don't get to use it very much, it will be redeployed over and over, and I think if DJ sees this, she's going to want to put the kittens upstairs in it, because it's adorable, and they're so cute, and it can hug them. Wow, who doesn't want a bed that can hug them? That's fantastic. I think he's going to take a little bit to, to reach his full uh, majesty, though. <laughs> he's, he's a little down after that long trip in. We get it, buddy. Jet lag's bad for anybody. Uh, he'll, he'll poop up. Thank you so much, uh, Merlin, to you. That is uh, that is super sweet and uh, really cool bed. Oh, i got to take one of these poems from uh, Joanne and put it aside so that it goes in a gown list and doesn't get put away with my letters. Okay, so that can go here. This will go to the downlets, and this can just sit over here for a moment. And then, uh, let's see. Well, oh, well, we recognize what this is. It's another one of those white boxes with the stickers on it. So all of you know who this one's from. I think I do, too. It is from the B&B &B sisters. Isn't that right? You're a B, too. Oh, look at that. B&B&B. &B &B. little barrel up here on top. Okay. Well, but i got to open that, so you can't just sit there. Hang on. Why don't you sit there for a minute, buddy? Put that right into that box. Wow, again, b, &B Sisters, you guys have really outdone yourself. And I see some of those parody cat products in here that I found so amusing before. Look at you, you want to play with all of them, don't you? Uh, what I don't see yet is your notes, so we're going to just dig in until we find it. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, you sent some of the cutest toys in here. And I don't even mean Barrel. That's not even a joke about Barrel being in here. Although Barrel's pretty cute. Um, 
So, wow, each of these toys is something unique that I don't think I've seen before and adorable. So first off, we have what looks like a, a manta ray. Uh, yeah, I think a manta ray. I don't really know the difference between a manta ray and a stingray, uh, but I think that's this is a manta ray. And I think, I guess they have little pouches where their, their little babies go or something, because there's a pouch here with a little tiny fish um, in it, and the fish is on a string. So once I open this, the little fish will stay attached to it, but can come out of the pouch. That's so cute. Oh my goodness, it is adorable. And I can see Beryl really likes it. You really like it, but you just like anything that has a bell, don't you? We don't have to give you a brand new toy for you to enjoy it. You can, though. I mean, it's not like you can. This is so pretty. My mom, uh, now my mom has, has raised all kinds of animals, so it's hard for me to, to even see any animal and, you know, not immediately think of her. But uh, koi in particular, which this is, uh, some sort of a, a beautiful little koi goldfish. Um, Koi in particular is something she has invested time and, and money in in the past and uh, probably still has quite a few of them. And uh, I always love them. I, I love the, they're, they're the ones with the real frilly tails like this one has and the ones with the, the big old bulging eyes like this one has too. So real, um, very like in indicative of an actual koi here. It's beautiful. It's just lovely, like a real koi. Oh, and it said lights up, but I wasn't seeing it. Now, I somehow I activated it. It must be when you shake it or something. It's got little lights in its belly. Who knows what it ate? Wow, that can't be good for it. And it's made out of uh, like a rubbery nylon mesh, too, which is super interesting and probably really fun for your little teeth and kittens to chew on, would be my guess. There we go. Look at that. That's so fun. I just love this, the way they duplicated the, the sort of freely tail and fins that are on uh, a koi. Uh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's so, so pretty. Wow. It really makes me think of my mom, too, which is great. Okay. Here we have ramen, shrimp flavor ramen, and a shrimp with it. The shrimp looks pretty happy about it. And this ramen has a face on it, too. Go figure. Oh, but it's not ramen. NYA, like the sound that a kitty makes. That's super cute. It's got little paw prints on it, shrimp flavor. That is uh, one of those. So we've also got Snorios that has a sleeping cat and an Oreo shaped bed. Snorios, the midnight snack. <laughs> I love these, these parody products. We've got Sniff, extra scratchy peanut butter. Sniff, uh, uh, these are fantastic. Uh, we have goldfish, not goldfish. We have go fish crackers with a little fishing kitty on it. These are all so cute. Oh, I think I see the card. Okay, it's over there. The note. We've got a very sparkly owl with a lollipop. Oh, I guess I get it too, but that's weird. Uh, it's got silver vine, and I guess we're going to find out how many licks it takes to get to the center of that particular uh, silver vine lollipop there. Very cute pop culture reference there. And so sparkly, this owl, his little uh, owly, fuzzy ears, that's, uh, that's adorable. Okay, here's the note. So let's read the note before. There's so many more things in here that are super cute, though. Uh, this has an old, it looks like a, like a pointillism of, uh, or maybe it's just very textured uh, oil or uh, something. It's textured. Anyway, it's an old-fashioned cat wearing a bow, and he's got a mouse in a live mousetrap, an old-fashioned live mousetrap. And they're kind of looking at each other. Um, and then on the inside, here, I'll show you that. There we go. A little tiny mouse and an old live mouse trap. Hello to all at Kitten Academy. Sorry, Mr. A, but we did it again. Lots and lots of toys. We just can't seem to help ourselves, but there are too many cute cat toys out there. It's just too easy to spoil cats and kittens, too. Boy, are you right, and these are just the cutest toys. Also included are blankets and two boxes of food, as usual. The B and B sisters, Beatrice and Bernadette. P.S. Our favorite new kitten is Teaspoon. Our mom calls him Goldie. Goldie is very sweet. Yes, and uh, oh, this kind of reminds me of him. Now that you mention it, uh, I think of him as the Golden Child um, because he really does stand out, not just in color, uh, but also I think in uh, his need for our personal care right now. Uh, but he is, he's a sweetheart. It's hard not to, to pay the most attention to him the way, especially with the cameras in there. The box is so dark that the, the exposure on the camera kind of tries to adjust itself for that. And then most of the kittens are a little bit darker in color. So he just shines like a, like a beacon, uh, you know, based on the fact that he's so much lighter in color than the others. Uh, it's really something to see. Um, but it's not, I can't entirely blame the camera for that either. I mean, he really is, obviously, uh, you just look in the box and you're like, whoa, 
there's that one cat in there that does not look like the others. Uh, I do think, and I, I know I've mentioned this before, but you never know when new people are listening. Um, you know, it is uh, a fact that cats can have uh, one litter with multiple fathers, and usually that they aren't then all conceived at the same time. So it does seem likely when you have a cat that looks as distinct and has a lower weight, uh, like our little boy does, um, it does seem likely that he had a different father than the rest of the class as well. Um, so that would explain why he's so much lighter. He might technically be a little bit premature, but of course everybody else is ready to be born, so he went right along for the ride. Uh, unfortunately, they don't get to, uh, to have separate birthdays that way. So uh, unfortunately, though, they were close enough that, uh, that he seems like he's going to do just fine. So yeah, all right. Uh, so uh, B&B sisters, let's keep going here. This is so cute. We have the uh, uh, butter here, or I guess cream, actually. It's Land O Cats Kitty Cream. It's got a whole cream, and it's got actually a bowl of cream with a cat sitting in the bowl of cream on it, Land O Cats. Uh, here we have a really cute Postronaut cat toy set. It is a, a the cutest little smiling star and the cutest little rocket ship. I just, I love this. I love this whimsical space thing. It gets me every time. Um, that's, uh, yeah, yeah. I guess I don't have to mention again how much I enjoyed watching Bee and Puppy Cat as well. There, it's all that. It's like, uh, you know, the, one of the main characters is a cat and, um, or something. And it's all like got this sort of semi-sci-fi, super whimsical uh, aesthetic to it that is, I just loved every part of it. Um, some of it might be a little scary for kids, so, you know, maybe not for the, the youngest kind of people, but, uh, but fantastic. Anyway, uh, here we have the Kong Naturals. They're these fuzzy fish that are sort of made out of a short nap version of the marshmallow bed material, and they have great big feathery tails. <gasps> yes, I, when you want to play with everything, though, oh, yeah. All right, there we go. Every toy is for Barrel. Here we have another Kong, Kong Weba. It's like a little Kong, uh, like the, the old Kong shape. Uh, you remember the, the Kong toys? The, the, the classic thing that Kong started with. Uh, and it's even got that as their logo on it. Go figure. And But it's a unicorn cat, and it's got this giant, look at that. It's a unicorn cat. And a catacorn? Yeah, okay. I guess we'll go for that with a rainbow tail made out of feathers, and then it's got a rubber ball for its middle part, real hard uh, Kong rubber ball, but a soft little plushy head, but it's got that, that classic Kong shape. Uh, really cute. Wow, you sent a whole bunch. Here we've got a couple of fish with big lips called silly swimmers, and they've got some ribbons and some feathers. Super cute. We have a bag of Logan's favorite mice. We've talked about that, the Smarty Cat, the cloth mice with the little uh, tail. Here we have a set of birds that we have seen before, too, the super realistic birds. Uh, I'm, you know what? It's so nicely packed. I'm not going to open it up. You can see there's a couple parakeets in there, and usually there's a cardinal. Yes, there's a cardinal, a bright red one, uh, and one of those little parrots. Uh, not a parakeet, but the little tiny parrots, like the ones in uh, in the park in Chicago, right? The little green parrots. Is that what I'm thinking of? Maybe. Maybe. All right. Here we've got the cutest little smiling crab with bells on his claws, and his buddy is an oyster that has a little smiling pearl inside. That is adorable. So a uh, very jingly little crab, and he's super happy. And then inside, look at this. The oyster opens up, and there's a little shiny silver pearl with a face on it. That is so cute. And this has got some crinkle in it. And, of course, you're attracted to those bells every time. Yeah, you love the little bells. Okay. Now, what else? We have Kitty Pop popcorn, scratch-free, no biting. Actually, it says no bidding, uh, but that's okay. Uh, Kitty Pop Popcorn, Scratch Free, No Bidding. Okay. We have, uh, wow, these are some very flamboyant mice. I don't, I don't know how else to describe them. Uh, one of them has a, a lemon on his shirt. The other one is, it appears to be a watermelon, I'm going to say. And then the third one uh, just has some cute little flowers on it that have uh, these giant stamens sticking out. Uh, and as you can see, <laughs> one of them... Somebody likes a flamboyant, jingly mouse. Anything with a bell, though, right? 
Wow, look at those. Those are okay. All right. Okay. Well, look, guys. If I give you every single toy, you're gonna play with them once and then just leave them. Aren't they better to go with your endowments so you can have them forever? Okay. All right. These mice are too silly and too flamboyant, and we should let you pick something. Okay, you pick this, and now look at this. I took it off the card, and already you're like, yeah, okay, now it's just this one. Who cares? DJ wonders why I leave the, the labels on. Okay, oh, this one's kind of, okay, this one doesn't have a bell, so let's throw that one first. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, here we've got a peacock. Wow, it's a peacock, but then it's also got like a giant uh, peacock feather uh, that's a second toy. So it's a peacock, real 3D, with its head sticking out, and it's great big peacock feathers uh, like this, but then we've got one that's just sort of a paisley peacock feather pattern with a, and it's got a little bell on it, being very careful not to jingle it so that Beryl doesn't have to give up her brain. Let's see what this one is. Uh, here we have a burger and fries. Uh, the burger, however, appears to be a fish burger. It says, Pants Burger and Milkshake. I said fries, I don't know why I said fries. It's very clearly a milkshake. My brain is just not active. Um, so there's a, a burger and fries, but the burger has a very shiny fish uh, in it. Uh, so it's a fish burger, apparently, and a milkshake. Okay. Here we have a chirpy bird made out of a um, uh, sort of a um, uh, burlap. That burlap, that's what I'm looking for, sort of a burlap or something here. Uh, and that, that's still got the little uh, thing in that stops it from chirping right now. So that's probably good. Okay, you're just interested in the jingly bells when somebody jingles them, like your sister's doing. Okay. <clears throat> then we have, oh, oh, wait, there's a couple more toys. Let's get all the toys. Oh, wow. This is a compressed catnip pineapple. It's so cool, and it's got uh, feathers and ribbons on the top to make the pineapple top. But I don't know if you can see the pattern here. It's got a pineapple pattern compressed into it, and it's all made out of compressed catnip, I assume. Just catnip. Yep, okay, that's what it says. Compressed catnip. Adult supervision is recommended for children under 12 years of age. Well, that's almost every cat. I mean, I almost wouldn't call them children at that point, but that's fine. Adult supervision should be mid-hat for most cat boys. I can't argue with that. Uh, then we have one more Sour Scratch Cats. I see, and they look just like Sour Patch Kids. That's super cute. Sour Scratch Cats. There we go. That is a crazy collection of really silly and whimsical toys. I just love it. And then today's blankets, today's blankets, such a strange thing to say, but with the B&B sisters, that's just how it is. Here we have a, a block, um, a, a, what am I looking for? Low poly cat. Okay, that's what we're gonna say, uh, even though I guess it's not entirely accurate description. Um, sitting in some grass and looking at a butterfly with beautiful colors. And one more. All right, buddy. Okay, there we go. Uh, one more blanket here is, oh, some cartoon kitties. Oh, they're so cute. DJ's going to just get a real kick out of this one. It says, lovely kitten all over it. That is adorable. I know DJ's going to want to put this somewhere. Uh, just these sort of cartoon smiley faces on the cats are adorable. They'll look real good on the stream, too. I think they're big enough that the, the stream will get a good look at those in, a, in whatever room we put them in. Uh, and then, as you said, we have two cases of Fancy Feast Chicken Feast Classic Pate, uh, which is exactly what we feed everybody here. And, oh, one more toy that I almost missed. Stuff! Marshmallow Stuff! <laughs> That's so cute. And the kitten that is the picture on this one, it says Super Fluffy and Sweet Marshmallow, oh, no, sorry, it says Meow Mellow Stuff. And uh, the cat, though, that is on the, the container is the, it's just like a giant puff ball with little tiny legs and a tail. I don't know how well you can see him, but that is also adorable. Oh my goodness. Okay. So these are going to go, I think, upstairs, and this is going to go to the food, and this, I think I'm going to fill up with things that need to be either used generically or uh, endowed, which is going to be all of this, minus their brand new house. There we go. They've already lost all interest in because it stopped jingling. Oh my goodness. Okay, hang on. <clears throat> okay. 
Well, B and B sisters, thank you so much. That is just a fantastic set of toys. All of it, uh, really beautiful. That that toy is super got my attention. I think uh, it, it'll probably be an endowment for that golden boy in the end uh, because it is so much like him. If he likes it at all, but uh, in the meantime, uh, when I when I find it downstairs, I'll probably want to bring it out and, and see it around a little bit because it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, next box then. Oh, we have a box. Oh, <laughs> we have another parody uh, toy here. Wow, <laughs> kind of got a thing going. Let's see who this is from. Uh, <laughs> surprise! Oh, surprise! It's the B and B sisters. Okay, well, it's kind of not surprise that I saw another parody toy and I was like, "That's weird. Is this a thing?" But surprise! It's the B and B sisters. Saw this online. It was too cute to pass up. Hope the cats enjoy it. Uh, from Beatrice and Bernadette. That's cute. That's so funny. Surprise! Okay, so it's Crispy Claws Catnip Toys. That's so cute. It's a box of donuts, and each donut has a different face. There's one that you can see here. It's got a real frowny face on this uh, blue icing donut. Uh, presumably, the rest are super cute, too. It's four premium catnip-infused donut toys and the Cat Scratcher box. And it is just like Krispy Kreme, of course, but it is Crispy Claws. It's been a long time since I've had a Krispy Kreme. I don't even know if they're out here. Um, not that I need that in my diet. Oh my gosh. And they're terrible because they're so, I mean, they're just like sugar and they're so light that you can eat a ton of them and I will eat a ton of them. Uh, they're so good. There's also reviews from a cat on the back. Oscar, this donuts and catnip make me go nuts. Love them. Humans did good. Oscar, the house cat. Uh, that's super cute. How to use. And it just shows a cat eating a donut and a cat scratching in a box. Uh, very cute packaging too. Thank you so much for this. All right, I'll put it in the other box with the other stuff that you have sent. That is really cute and silly. And now this looks like he's turned it into a toy because he's, there's, uh, there's some paper in here for packing material. And our little boy Silo is in here playing with the paper. All right, maybe it's time to bring that tissue fit up again for you guys. What do you think? Oh, is that too loud in there? I bet it's pretty loud. Okay. Uh, B&B Sisters, thank you so much. How, that's a great coincidence that I just happened to open your box right after I opened your box. Perfect. Okay, so next up we have, it just says Kitten Academy. It says, please handle with care, glass. And there's a giant dent in the box right on the word glass. So uh, that's how things go, isn't it? Let's see what this is. Oh, oh, ooh, interesting. Very interesting. Gerber chicken and gravy. Yes, that's exactly the thing that we give the kittens for either treats or sometimes for food when they need it. But Gerber has apparently changed their packaging a little bit because these lids have cute little babies on them. This is not how they looked before. Uh, let's take a quick look and see if they've changed anything else. There's uh, very cute. I'm, I'm so familiar with the way these things normally look, of course, because uh, we see plenty of them. But according to the label, this is the right thing. Gerber, chicken and gravy, second foods, exactly the right thing. Let's make sure they haven't changed the formula at all. Uh, I'm trying to look without opening it up. Uh, is there an expiration date on this? Best Buy, January 2024. That's great. They last such a long time. And we've got a couple of other cases to get through first. Um, but I, just, I really just wanted to check and see. It should be chicken, water, and just a tiny bit of cornstarch, I think. That's fine. There we go. Contains chicken, water, cornstarch. Perfect. All right. It's just the same formula, but it's a much cuter little lid. The old lids were just kind of silver with their logo. Uh, and this is, I guess, technically their logo, but it's got a cute little baby on it. So that's adorable. Okay. Uh, I don't think we know who sent it, though. It says, Ship to Kitten Academy. And there's a note, but the note does not say anything else on it. So. Whomever sent the uh, the baby food for our little babies, thank you so much. They, of course, this is I don't I don't know if everybody knows uh, the chicken and gravy baby food and some of the other baby foods that are just meat and water. Uh, you got to check. You know, some of them they put little spices or something in there to sort of spice it up, and or peas and carrots. You don't need that kind of stuff for a cat. Uh, but chicken and gravy makes not only uh, like a cute food for a cat that really needs some extra food. But a wonderful treat too and you can either sometimes we'll put it on a plate and let them come up and just you know clean it all off or sometimes i just use my finger and get them to sort of be a little more socialized that way 
So it's a fantastic tool as well as a fantastic treat. Thank you so much for helping keep our reserves uh, in supply. So that's wonderful. Uh, whoever it is, we don't know. But that's okay too. All right. <clears throat> Next, we have a Chewy, a recycled Chewy box, okay, and we've covered up the name, so I don't know who this one is from. Oh, I do know who it's from. It says right here, it's from Nick, Hoggy, and family. How sweet, Nick and Hoggy. Oh, boy, we were told, uh, actually, I think PJ just asked the other day, she asked me uh, on, or she asked on the chat, I don't know. Anyway, we got the answer on the chat that Hoggy does still make his little Hoggy noises which is adorable, and you remember him running around and making his little noises. Uh, here we go. So let's see. Okay for stream, the note. Look at that. An old-time fold-it-yourself letter uh, with the one-cent postage on it. Hello, Chris, DJ, faculty, especially Eddie, mom, cats, kittens, and YouTubers. Nick, Hoggy, Gibby, Bugatti, and Nugget thought it would be fun to send in some of their favorite things for Thimble and the Tiny Tubs. I've been meaning to do something forever, but my in-due time just kept getting pushed out with all my health issues, but we don't need to get into that right now. In clothes, you'll find packages clearly marked for ease of locating when sorting endowments. Each is also wrapped in see-through mesh so you can see what's in them without having to open them, but feel free to do so if you'd like. <clears throat> Excuse me. They all contain the same stuff, just different colors. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wow. <coughs> there we go. I brought this Diet Coke. I didn't open it yet. I brought Diet Coke because I've already had, and I guess this doesn't really make any difference, but I've already had an entire French press of coffee this morning. So I thought it was time to switch, but, <clears throat> you know, caffeine's caffeine, right? Well, I'm covered in baby food, too. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, to whoever sent in this stick rope rock looking chew toy for Hoggy, thank you kindly. I think, I don't know for sure what you mean, but I'm pretty sure I know what you mean. One of those silver vine sticks that are wrapped with the rope and have the little silver vine nugget on them, you're calling them rock. Um, plus the, sometimes little feathers on them. There's, there's always one or two of those around. They're always a big hit. Um, so to whoever sent in the stick rope rock looking chew toy for Hoggy, thank you kindly. It was a huge hit. Every one of my five cats wanted to chew and play with it. So I bought more for us, but also some for these gift bags and hopefully Thimble and the Tiny Tubs like them just as much. Oh, well then we'll find out in a minute. Yes, I do see some of those in each bag. So yeah. <clears throat> um, all of my cats, oh, I can also tell you by the way that they do like them, especially their mom Thimble is crazy about one that I, I'm surprised I don't know where it is right now, but uh, yeah, those are always a huge hit. I think the thing that's really the big hit, the biggest part of that hit, by the way, is the little nugget of silver vine that's stuck on there. Uh, I don't know what they call those exactly, but DJ, sometimes you can just buy a bag of those and DJ will do that sometimes and we'll throw them out to the faculty and they are they're just prized uh, for a short while anyway. So uh, let's see. Uh, all of my cats also enjoy the small fluffy blankets that are great for putting around the house without taking up a lot of space. So each gets one of those. Jingle Bell Worm Toys are Hoggy's favorite. So there's a couple of those in there. Those are also a big favorite of these guys. In fact, um, I often see this one <clears throat> running around with those. It's probably why she loves bells so much is uh, because of her in initial start with those little worms. Okay. Um, Nick's most absolute favorite, almost only treat he will eat besides freeze dried meats are Churu. We all know he got hooked on at the Academy as I'm sure most of you have seen the video of him and Mr. A have a tug, having a tug of war over a tube. Each gets a package of those. Then just a bunch of mice balls and miscellaneous toys along with a wand toy. I also got some of your favorite things as a thank you for all you guys do for every mom, cat, and kitty. Aw. For you, Chris, I got some local made maple coffee beans. I also got you a couple of local newspapers for your reading enjoyment. Thank you so much. For DJ, I got her some locally made caramels and a bunch of whiskers for her collection. Uh, yeah, I got to tell you, DJ doesn't, uh, like, I'm well, so I was going to say, DJ doesn't eat as much caramel as you would expect. I don't know how much you would expect. I go through candy like it was nothing. So, you know, the minute it shows up, it's gone. But 
you know, she does still love her caramels. And just the other day, uh, she had said to me, isn't there anything caramel in the house? And I had to be like, well, no, not really, uh, because I used up the last of your caramels, uh, which I, is true. So thank you for refilling some of her supply. Uh, for DJ, I got her some locally made caramels and a bunch of whiskers for her collection. Not sure who's is who's, but I figured she'd like them anyway. I see, just random whiskers. That's cute. I also got you both a cute little glass globe with two cats playing with butterflies etched inside that can remind you of Hoggy and Nick when you look at it. Aw, that is so sweet. Well, this note has gone on long enough, so I'll end it here. Lots of love and spoogles from Delise, Frank, Seth, Jay, Dylan, and the cats Nick, Hoggy, Gibby, Bugatti, and Nugget. Uh, it says it's okay to say your last name, but uh, it's pronounced Shaka, I guess, and that's what I will go with. You say pronounced Shaka, okay to say. So there you go. Thank you so much to the Shakas. How appropriate for some cat people. Okay, so let's go through the things that you said in your note. Uh, Chris and DJ, another cute little note from Delise Frank, Seth, Jake, Dylan, Nick, Hoggy, Gibby, Bugatti, and Gibby. Whoa, Gibby got in there twice this time. How about that? Uh, all right. So, oh, these are those gourmet coffee caramels. Oh my goodness, from Nelson's, Nelson's Candy and Music. And Candy and Music, that's a great combo. Wow, they're very soft. It looks like there's another one here that says, uh, oh, it just says Nelson's Candy and Music. It doesn't say what kind they are, but I assume they're just regular caramels. Also, Parker's Maple Barn, oh, that's so cool. Uh, regular. Uh, maple Barn Gourmet Maple Coffee. Wow, I wonder if I'll be able to smell it. Oh, wow, I can smell it. That's very maple. That's pretty cool. Hmm. May contain traces of nuts. Okay. And HD Crystal. Oh, the, the cat. The, the cat's playing with a butterfly. Let's take a look. Oh, it's tiny. It's so cute. And look at this. It comes with this awesome little... Uh, stand for it to go on like a crystal ball. I did not expect it to be a crystal ball. I expected it to be like a snow globe. I had snow globe in my mind. It is not a snow globe. It is a crystal ball with kitties playing with a butterfly in it. I mean, it really is. Hang on, let me get this out. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness, wow. It's beautiful. And then uh, they've used that technique of making a uh, little laser etching inside of the crystal. It really is crystal. It's so heavy. And it's so nice, and it will sit right on there. And there are two cats inside chasing butterflies. Well, one of them is chasing butterflies. The other one appears to be catching a, uh, I'm pretty sure those are grapes, a, a bunch of grapes for some reason. Hmm. All right, well, hey, it is what it is. Uh, he is going for some grapes that are hanging down. I see now, and this is clearly the right orientation because there's a little bit of the ground at the bottom for you to see. So it's got to go this way. Of course, you probably can't see that at all because it's so tiny, but it's beautiful. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. It also has a beautiful bag to keep that uh, crystal in. Um, but I do love it, and it will also remind me of Nick and Hoggy every single time. And I'm going to have to put that someplace where DJ can just appreciate how beautiful it is. Oh my goodness, I love it. That is, I expected, uh, again, I expected a snow globe. I did not expect that. <clears throat> hey, buddy. All right. Well, in that case, I am going to... Oh, Whiskers for DJ and my paper from, let's see, the Union, New Hampshire Union Leader and the Mon, uh, Monadnock Ledger Transcript. Oh, wow. Oh, this picture of this guy. I don't know what he's doing, but he's wearing a doublet and he's making a crazy face with his kid is sticking out his tongue. Uh, that's, what is it? After the fold. Support through art. Okay. Wow, I can't even say this guy's name. Krylo? Krylo, he sounds like a Star Wars character. And Olga, along with their son Simeon, stand next to one of her paintings. Oh, she's a painter. Over 20 pieces of her artwork were on display at the artist reception. Huh, very cool. Well, uh, thank you so much for all of that. I'm excited to, to read that. And I guess the, the bag's been taken over, so this stuff I'll just set aside, and that way I can bring it up to the kitchen or up to the bedroom as appropriate and we will keep rolling oh wait keep rolling here in the same box look at that i only did the fun part i'm kidding thimble from nick and hoggy and family how sweet so here is in fact the uh silver vine stick that i was talking about that you were talking about 
It is uh, the stick here. It does have a, a little tiny, is that a tiny silver rind nugget? Actually, I don't see that on there. Oh, it's on the other. There it is. There's the silver rind nugget on the end. And it's, uh, instead of having feathers at the end, it's got a piece of, ret uh, not rattan, uh, what do you call the, uh, whatever, uh, the stuff stuck all the way, raffia. Haha, -ha. I was so close. And then, like you said, a bunch of the regular toys. we got a couple worms, and I do see the churu in there. What a great little gift bag, plus a nice-looking cloth uh, wand. It's got a big old cloth ribbon on it. Fantastic. And just like you said, this one's for Thimble. You also sent one for Silo. It has the same kind of things in it. A slightly different wand, I see. Some slightly different toys. Um, also one for Cistern with a different wand and different toys. But they all have the little silver vine stick in it. Uh, and the worms and the churu, of course. Oh, this one. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It just says Kitten Academy, and it's so small. What could possibly be in a box this a bag this small? And is there a note? My goodness. Oh, I think it is just a note. What is going on here? There must be something in here. It is, it's a blank. This is so weird. It says Kitten Academy. It has a blank, completely blank piece of UPS uh, paper. It is. It's utterly blank, and it's uh, it's like this the backing for UPS stickers. So whatever was on here has been taken off. Maybe there's something in here that was protecting. Let's take a closer look. Is there something in here? No, I don't believe there is. I think that was it. And I opened this bag, so this is exactly what was shipped. It's not like it was already open. That is so strange. Hmm. Okay, well, hey, it is what it is. We were sent a blank piece of uh, sticker backing. Uh, maybe it's for my sticker collection to be put on. Who knows? It's recycling at its best. To reorder your UPS Direct Thermal Labels, yes, I know that's what this was. It was UPS Direct Thermal Labels, and they were just packaged up and sent to us uh, without the labels. It's just the backing part. Okay, um, thank you. Uh, sincerely, that is exactly what I wanted. I don't know how you knew, but it is the very thing I needed to put right over there. Okay. Uh, actually, let's do this one next because I know someone was waiting for us to get this. It has a love and lobsters written on the front. Love and lobsters. Uh, so we can all guess who this one is from. Here we go. And it is what appears to be a recycled shoebox, too. The best kind of recycling is just reusing something yourself. I say that all the time. Oh, wow, this is a nice box. It's uh, like a cloth box with a grommet in it. Hmm, I can see why you reused it. Okie dokie. Oh, uh, <laughs> hmm, okay. I see poop immediately. So this must be uh, in honor of the poop anniversary. It's a little bit late, and that's okay, too. We don't stand on formality or dates here. It's fine. The note. The note is poop-shaped. It's a poop-shaped note, and it says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, it's that time again. Happy poop anniversary! I've dropped a few things in this box to help you celebrate. I think you'll know what to do with the signs in the roll. The metal one might be too heavy for the small shoji screen, so I made a mold of it and cast a lighter one in epoxy resin. What? That is way too much work. I guess we'll find out what that means in a minute. The items in the white paper are for you. I hope you'll enjoy the crap out of them. I don't know if I can say that. Can I say that? Well, I did. It's too late now. I'm sorry if, uh, if anybody was offended. The items in the white paper are for you. I hope you'll enjoy... Oh, wait. That's what I just read. Okay, let's move on from there. The things wrapped in the orange paper are not poop anniversary related. Some treats and treat puzzles to use as you see fit. And when I saw Cooper's face staring out from some socks... 
I knew I had to get them through DJ. As always, thank you both for the love and care you give to the mom, cats, and kittens, and for sharing it with all with us. Love and lobsters, Maya Bastet. Well, Maya, thank you so much. All right, I read the note, but I still hardly know what to expect in all of this, so let's find out. Uh, I just grabbed this first. Orange paper are not Cooperversary. Okay, so let's see what that is. Ooh. Oh, this is so cute. So first off, it really is his face. Look at that. DJ's going to love these little socks with a little tuxy key. That's adorable. That right here with all the stuff that's got to go there. Uh, what are these? Doc and Phoebe's Cat Co. Oh, they're treat mice. Wow, I've never seen ones this fancy. Um, so it is a, it's a little mouse, as you can clearly see, with little mouse ears. But instead of having a body, it has this plastic bin that you can put little treats into. And I assume as the cats knock it around, they will, uh, the treats will fall out or they'll find a way to get the treats out. Treat puzzles is what you call them. And that makes perfect sense. It's exactly what they are. They're also a sack uh, with the little, the little sack strings are the tail of the mouse, which is also cute. This one's coming a little undone. The knot that will hold it in there. And I would hate for it to come all the way out because that's a piece of elastic. And you don't want anybody eating that, but I don't think it's going to now. We just tighten up the knot. It's all fine. Uh, interesting, very interesting little design here. And the outside appears to be like a, almost like a, oh, maybe it's a stretchy, it's a elastic cottony thing. It's, it's such a nice construction on this. My goodness. Uh, super fancy. And you sent two of those, I guess, Doc and Phoebe's Cat Company. I've not heard of them, but they must be the good stuff. So those are some treats. And then you also sent some treats, uh, presumably, to put into them. Fancy Feast Savory Cravings Chicken Flavor. 168 break apart treats. That is a lot of treats. Uh, thank you for those too, very much. All right, uh, I will put all of that together here as stuff for us to try out. Look at that, this is a pretty good match color wise, not exact, but we'll put that right in there. Okay, this has a toilet paper roll to protect it. It feels very, very heavy. I love that it's a toilet paper roll for protection, but also it's on theme, isn't it? <clears throat> a little too on theme, if you ask me. I see, when you said in the roll, I didn't understand, but now I understand. And look at that, it's... <laughs> oh, this is bringing together a couple of our interests all at once. Uh, it's a sign, and it is made out of metal, so it is quite heavy, as you suggested. It says Poop Deck. Uh, it appears to be cast aluminum, would be my guess. And just like you said, you went through all the effort to cast a copy of it out of a resin, which you've also colored. Right? That is such a good job of uh, casting. This is an exact copy, too. You must really be good at uh, casting uh, resin stuff. I've I've never had such luck at getting such a perfect copy. My goodness. Uh, anyway, it says poop deck. It might be a little hard to read. Maybe I should put a little bit of paint on there uh, to make poop deck stand out. But look at that rainbow color. Isn't that lovely? And uh, as you said, this one's light enough. And I see what, you, what you're suggesting is to put it on the shoji screens that we use to uh, sort of hide the litter boxes so the kittens have a nice label about where to go. I love it. That is a very cute idea, and I will certainly have to do that. And uh, you know, even though this is heavy, those are some uh, those are some pretty sturdy shoji. You know, they're five units long, so they could probably stand up. Also, um, because they're getting so expensive now, when I wanted to buy another one, I bought a Cadet. I think it was Cadet. I don't know what brand it was, but anyway, there's a screen basically that now they're selling as a, a litter box hiding screen that's much uh, taller and uh, shorter. It's only three pieces, so it doesn't stand up quite as well, but it would probably also hold this really nicely uh, and kind of match it. So those, those are fantastic. Thank you so much. Uh, nice job on that casting. It's got all the texture and everything. Uh, fantastic work. Okay, we'll set those right here for now. And the last item, uh, let's see, the white paper are for you, I guess. That must be what this is, right? Let's see. Oh, ah. uh, so first off, we have poop socks, and it's poop emoji that's winking and saying the word poop. 
Uh, that's a that's a lot of poop. And then we also have a kitchen sponge uh, that is poop. Wow. Uh, this side has a little scrubber on it, and this side has it actually flies circling the poop on it. That's uh, that's a little too much. Wow. Uh, I love it though. That's that's cute. It's uh, it's a little weird to be washing your dishes with poop, but I'll do it. Uh, and I'm sure DJ will definitely have uh, uh, some eye rolls for that. So we'll, we'll see some rolling eyes. I'm sure of that. So Maya, Vasta, thank you so much for all of that. That was really, really sweet and generous of you. And the poop deck sign is very cute. That's super cute. I just, I love all of it. So uh, thank you. Uh, I'm going to put these ribbons in my pocket so they end up in the trash and not anywhere else. Okay, two more boxes. Let's see here. <clears throat> oh, I think we know exactly what this is. No, we don't. No, we don't have the slightest idea what this is. Oh my goodness, what is this? It's another one of those high-tech cat toys. It's so high-tech, instead of having a name, it's just called P16. That's the letter P and the number 16. Uh, and it says, meow, 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 purr, purr, meow, 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 meow. Okay, deploy for all cats and kittens to enjoy. Thanks, Mr. A and Dr. DJ for all that you do and providing us with hours of kitten entertainment from Jennifer C. All right, Jennifer C. Wow, I, you know I love checking out new cat tech toys. And this appears to be a ball that rolls itself around, but the design of it is a little bit different than what we've seen before. Uh, and it looks like, what are these extra parts all about? Oh my goodness, and it's got a USB cord and it comes with a tiny screwdriver for your tiny tech to work on it. And there's a instruction manual. So let's see real quick what it says. Hang on. Is, are these just extra toys? Or are they somehow related? I guess we'll find out in a minute. All right, the P16 Smart Cat Toy. I love the look of it. It's got a rubber wheel and the rubber wheel is inside this plastic frame so you can see as the wheel spins this is going to kind of get pushed around the the frame seems to have a couple little holes on it where maybe you can attach a toy to the frame piece and it will carry those around with it uh, also i see a power button and i see i'm assuming this is going to be a usb charging port yes it is protected under the rubber usb c in fact so that's nice and modern uh, what a great design uh, just from an aesthetic viewpoint it's uh, beautiful uh, so let's see I'm assuming what it says to do oh wow the ring is uh, not just to attach toys to some of these are covers to go around the entire ring so let's see uh, you can turn it on fast mode slow mode interactive mode and then standby mode it will after it works for five minutes it goes for it sleeps for an hour and then it works for 30 seconds uh, if it's touched, it will go for a full five minutes. Otherwise, it will uh, just uh, go back to sleeping for another hour. Interesting idea. Um, so every hour it wakes up enough to see if anybody, if it can get any attention. And if it doesn't, it goes right back to sleep. That's pretty cool. Uh, voice on by default. So I assume it makes some kind of chirpy thing. You can turn it off by pressing the button twice. Cool. And then it's got a, just a fast mode and a slow mode. And there's lights to tell you which mode it's in. Charging cord, yes. Oh, here's how to take it apart so you can clean the hair. That's why there's this little tiny screwdriver so you can take it apart and clean out any hair that gets caught in the uh, in the frame axis, the axle there. Very clever too. I love that th that extra little bit of thinking about how to make sure this thing can last a while. Uh, oh, interesting though the way it, it attaches. Hmm. It's got little covers on it, and that's you use this to pop the cover off, and then there's a screw, and you can take the frame off, and you can clean out all the cat hair. That's uh, that's a very nice design. I want to see this though. I I love it just the way it is. I think it's very cool like this, and um, depending on where the lights light up, let's turn it on for just a second. It should have a little charge, right? Ah, it does. Oh wow, look at that. So the lights are on the side. Oh, and that wants to go places. Oh, and there's the, no the voice. Look at that. It's almost like a POV effect on that LED, isn't it? That's super cool. Okay, hang on. Oh, oh, oh I see. I press the button now. Switch its mode. 
and now again, and then, uh, okay, that just switches mode. Do I have to hold it to turn it off, I think? Oh, wow, that's very, very cool. It makes little bird chirps, that's the voice. Okay, but this is the coolest part. So it's got these little tiny balls on strings that it can drag around with it. Like I said, there's a little spot here that you can put them. Uh, you can attach them to the frame and it'll drag the ball around with it. Very cute for a cat to grab onto and drag around. But it's also got these uh, that are little rabbit. <laughs> Let's see, there's a pink bunny with little pink bunny ears. There's a brown, uh, a gray bunny, brownish bunny with little brown bunny ears. And then there's a golden one. It looks just like a little kitten I know with little golden uh, rabbit ears. And so these are supposed to be, I see, it's basically a hair tie inside this fur that lets it fit in this groove that goes all the way around the outside. So you can just put it right around there like so. There we go. It's elastic. It is just like a hair tie. A hair tie would probably fit around there perfectly. And now it's got ears. And it can run around like that. And you can still put one of the balls on it. That is super cool and cute. And I'm going to take that and charge it up so we can see these kids play with it. It seems perfect for them to play with. Uh, it's nice to have a little tech toy that uh, you know can keep the kids entertained without uh, me needing to get involved. So I'm, I'm very excited to try that out. Uh, thank you so much. That was uh, Jennifer C. Where did I get the note? No. Oh, over here. Jennifer C. Yes, thank you. Oh, that's going to be exciting to try out. We'll get it fully charged before we bring it back in here. Uh, you know they have to they have to reduce the charge you can't you can't ship things fully charged um or you shouldn't anyway and i, I think i think it's a rule that you can't not to say nobody does this appears to be a pop-up house of some kind but all it says is finey large chinchillas i don't think it's a large chinchilla but i do see a wood pattern here so i think it's a tree oh and i see leaves Interesting. Well, let's see what it says. Hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. I thought the main kid room needed an enchanted forest garden themed tunnel and found two, one foresty, one gardeny. Here's the foresty one. No mesh, but it was too cute to pass up. Oh, well, that's okay. I know uh, I often say how much the cats like to have the uh, tunnels that have the mesh because then they can sort of play through them. And that's a whole, adds a whole extra kind of stimulation. Also, this vacuum bag that it's in is resealable, but they've taped it to itself so much, I don't think I can get it open without ruining the seal. It's got this nice, now it's an, actually a vacuum bag with a vacuum cord on it and everything. But all this tape really detracts from the usability, doesn't it? No, it tore. Okay, so much for that. I tried. This looks like it'll be fun because it's got all these uh, feathers and things. Uh, not feathers, uh, leaves and That seems like something that will go for. That's, oh, it is, it's a tunnel. Ah, look at that, it's a tunnel, but it's got uh, little tiny leaves on it. It's crinkly. It's got pictures of squirrels on it. Lots of squirrels on it. It smells kind of nutty, too. Uh, I don't know what that is that they manufactured it with, but it does. Oh, it's, uh, it's, let's see, there's another, oh, there we go. It's got a little piece that sticks off on this side. Look at that, like a tree branch. It does look like kind of a fallen log covered in squirrels and the leaves. I love the little leaves. That's something that will attract these kittens. Uh, some of these kittens have a leaf eating problem. Even the artificial leaves, they, they maybe chew on a little too much. Like I mentioned, one of them threw up some fake leaves the other day. Um, but that's still super cute. And uh, this is sewn in. I guess it's safe and uh, can be used to put it back away again. We'll leave it on for now. We'll keep an eye on it, and we'll add this to all of their tunnels with the bear. Hey, look at that. Uh, oh, hey, that was it. Okay. Um, thank you so much to everybody for everything. That's pretty cool and uh, big. Wow. Uh, I think they'll like it quite a bit. And I know their mom has fun playing in these tunnels, and they have fun playing in these tunnels. We've got a lot of tunnels now all of a sudden. Uh, we're going to have to send some of these home with somebody. Okay. Um, well, hey, that's it. I'm going to get this stuff cleaned up. I can't wait for DJ to see all the caramel and the, uh, especially that crystal from uh, Nick and Hoggy that have Nick and Hoggy in it. Super cute. 
I don't know why that one cat is reaching for the grapes, but I almost wonder if they wasn't originally like Aesop's fable themed bit of 3D art, and they were like, just change that box into a cat, and we'll be fine. Uh, could be, I don't know, maybe that would explain it at least, right? Um, or maybe the cat just likes grapes. There's nothing wrong with that. Who doesn't like grapes? Okay. Uh, uh, up and at him. All right. Oh, long way up. All right. Oh, shake out. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's get this stuff put up. Uh, I don't know where all the cats went. They just, during mailbag, they were just like, now we've, we've had it for mailbag. Oh, I see one face pressed up against the glass in the, the pod over here. Oh, they're all three in there. I hope that's on the stream. Wow, I didn't even check. I wasn't looking this whole time. It is, and there's one face against the glass, but uh, the other two are in there as well. How cute. I don't know if that's on the stream, actually. I'm moving the camera around like you guys can see it, but you can't. It's not on the stream. Here, let's pop it on real quick. That's where they are. So cute. Well, I'm not going to disturb them. They love that pod. I'll tell you, I didn't know that pod was going to be such a hit. Uh, but they love it. The faculty loves it. I haven't seen their mom in there. I guess she's not a pod cat. Uh, but she loves the, the cardboard bed here. I don't know if she uses this one. She uses, like I said, the one in my office. She just loves it. Maybe because it's the closest bed to my desk, though. That could be why. Okay. Wow, that all fit together nicely, almost. Head out with this. Where's their mom at? I wonder. She must be in the the uh, cage. She likes to sleep in the top of the cage in the next room. No, Maggie, you cannot come in. We'd all regret. No, no. Ah. Dropped all the boxes trying to stop Maggie from running. Oh, I forgot to open two boxes because they were over here. Hang on, though. Uh, so then you guys were looking at them too on the ceiling camera and yelling at me. Uh, this is quick though. They're both very heavy. That's why I left them over here. Uh, let's see. Oh, from Raymond and Zenithon, welcome to Nibbles and her utensils. Welcome to Nibbles and her utensils. From Raylene and Zenithon, actually, it just says from R and Z, but look at that. I know what that means. You said Boxy Cat, the litter that we use. That's wonderful. Thank you so much, Raylene and Zanathon. Also, there, actually, I might as well leave that out of the box. Hang on. There we go. Then there's one other heavy box here. Let's see if that's also from you guys or. There we go. I'm behind the camera, you guys probably can't see me, but that's okay. Ah, it is uh, Fancy Feast and Boxy Cat. And the note says, the note says, yes, welcome to Nibbles and Her Cutensils from Ray Newman and Zenithon. Well, I don't have to bring all that uh, over to the camera, but it's a, a third Boxy Cat and three of the Fancy Feast. So thank you so much, Ray Newman and Zenithon. You guys always want to send uh, the, the necessary staples for the cats, and I really appreciate that. Uh, thank you so much.
I, uh, yeah, that's, that's fantastic. Yeah, I, I don't know if I mentioned, um, uh, that face, I need to take a picture of this face. Um, I just stopped our Chewy Auto Ship for their food. Uh, we've got a little bit of extra, you know, like to get through, and I want to make sure that we get through it. Um, but that's not why I stopped it. I stopped it because uh, they had our old credit card that now, for some reason, is getting rejected. And everybody now is emailing me to be like, this card that, that was stolen and replaced a year ago suddenly isn't authorizing anymore. And, you know, you need to update your payment info, which is weird. And that happens a year later, but I guess I understand it. Uh, Visa has a system for automatically billing the new card for certain people that are qualified for that, but it only lasts so long, and then they're like, no, uh, you know, no more. So that's what happened there a year later. Uh, but um, what was I going to say? So uh, so Chewy started sending us email to say, hey, uh, you got to you know change your card info. We can't send you anything because we can't process your payments anymore. And that made me look, and I realized that right now, at least, um, Fancy Feast is cheaper on Amazon. And uh, frankly, I feel like, I haven't figured it out entirely, but there's two different qualities of Fancy Feast that we get, and I feel like a lot of times it's the stuff that comes from Amazon that is the, the better quality. Sometimes it comes in, it's kind of like a hockey puck and some juice, and other times it comes in, it's a real nice, even pate. Uh, so... My thinking was, uh, we'll go through some of our reserves, and then as they start to get to a reasonable level, we'll just probably start auto shipping it from Amazon instead, as long as the prices stay the way they are. Who knows? I don't know why I went into that, except to say uh, thank you so much, since we're not even getting food right now. That's super helpful, and I, I really do appreciate it. That's what I'm saying. Um, all right. Uh, now, let's get the rest of this put up. Um, let's see. Well, actually, I was going to grab a box for this stuff, but now I'm too late, so let's just carry this out. Maybe I can... Okay, we're going to have to make a couple trips no matter what we do. These can go in here because that's going to go downstairs. This is going to get charged up. One hand at a time. Considering Maggie's desperate to come in here and Thimble put herself in the cage, just like I thought. I'm just going to close the door and let Maggie in. Hi, Maggie. I know. You've been just waiting in that door for your chance to run in. We sniff there, Maggie.
Maggie, you want to play with that? Can you fit in this tunnel? Can you get in there, Maggie? Yeah. You know, those small holes might be a little small for somebody as flimsy and big as you are now. It's looking though. It can be even more fun, huh? She could totally fit if she wanted to fit in there. You should say. I'm going to put this up in the chair, I think. Bare chair for now. There you go. Then he's got something to lean back this while he boosts up. Barely chair. Uh, need something to help keep your head up, though, buddy. Keep your head up, pal. This is going to be all right. Come on. He almost looks like he's sitting in a chair. That thing is ridiculous. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's put this stuff away first, and then I'll. Then we'll... All right, put that toy in to charge already. It's on the charger, and uh, this uh, was put on the charger last week, the lobster toy. Oh, it looks like now it's all charged up, so we're going to hook up the lobster for these kids, see if they're interested in that. Yeah, we know. Don't get all, don't get all excited about your lobster. We'll leave that out for a while and see what happens. I'll be back in a minute. Well, hey, that was it then. Uh, I guess I'll leave you guys with the capable hands of uh, Professor Maggie here. And uh, thanks to everybody for everything. I got to go get myself some breakfast and see what I'm doing next. Probably about time to give our little golden boy another feeding. Uh, thanks, everybody.